video um, two words that often get confused um, the word factor and the word multiple and there is a huge difference uh, in fact they're pretty much you can almost think of them as opposites of each other so if you get one confused you can definitely uh, get your problem off to the wrong track um, going in the opposite direction pretty much a factor, if we want to find all the factors of, for example, 18, we want to find numbers that are, uh, that 18 are divisible by. For example, 18 and a factor of 18 is always going to be 1. And here's my little way of, of finding factors of 18. Um, 1 times 18 will give you 18. So 1 is a factor of 18 and 18 is a factor of itself. Each number is always a factor of itself. And what I do is I keep on continuing. I, I got 1, 2 goes into 18. It goes into it 9 times. 3 goes into 18 6 times. And now, if you think about, okay, 1, 2, 3, the next number would be 4. 4 is not a factor of 18 because 18 is not divisible by 4. Um, you do get a remainder. Uh, 5 would be the next number, 1, 2, 3, 4, we said it didn't work, 5, it doesn't work either. Um, 18 is not divisible by 5 because we do get a remainder. Now there's no need to go on anymore because we said 1, 2, 3, 4 didn't work, 5 didn't work, and then your next number would be 6. But notice that 6 is over here. And if you keep this in order, whenever you get over here to the next number, there's no need to check anymore. So our factors of 18, let's list them in order. I don't want to put an equals there. But the factors would be 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. Those are all the numbers that 18 are divisible by. 18 is divisible by 1, 18 is divisible by 2, 18 is divisible by 3, 6, 9, and itself. So let's continue on. Uh, 120, slightly bigger number, but um, and yes, we will have quite a few factors. So let's go ahead and start this one off. Uh, one is always a factor of any whole number, so or any number that is. One times 120 because one a number is always a factor of itself. Since 120 is even, we know two will go into 120, and it goes into it 60 times. Three goes into 120. And uh, the divisibility rule there, the reason we can do this real quick, if you add up your digits, 1 plus 2 plus 0 is 3. If that sum is divisible by 3, then the entire number itself is divisible by 3. So 3 times 40 will give you 120. Uh, 4. 4 also goes into 120. Now you can do a little bit of long division there, but uh, 4 does go into 120 30 times. I'm going to continue and I'm going to slide all this stuff down. The divisibility rule for 5, because 5 also goes into 120. You can do a little bit of long division there. But uh, the divisibility rule is if that number ends in a 0 or a 5, it's divisible by 5. But 5 does go into 120 24 times. 6 would be our next number. 6 also goes into 120, and the divisibility rule for 6 is simply if this number is divisible by 2 and if this number is divisible by 3, which we've already said both of these conditions work, then the number is divisible by 6, and 6 goes into 120 20 times. 7 will not work. You can do a little bit of long division. You will get a remainder. What about 8? 8 does work. 8 times 15 will give you 120. Slide in a little bit more. <clears throat> if you test 9, you'll get a remainder, but 10 will work. 10 times 12 will give you 120. And the next number would be 11, but 11 will not go into 120, but we will have, it will have a remainder, so it's not a factor. And then our next number would be 12. Notice that 12 is already used. So then 
we can just list all these. There's no need to continue after 11 because 12 shows up here and these are all your other factors. So all these numbers we have here are factors of 120 because 120 is divisible by all of these numbers we have here. So we'd list our answer like this from smallest to biggest and plus notice it does keep it in order. And all I'm doing is I'm listing my numbers. Now I'm going to pick back up on this side. It's a lot of them. Let's see if that gives me enough room. Nope. Thirty, forty, sixty, and one twenty. A lot of factors of one twenty. So let's do the same thing for one hundred. Factors of one hundred. Always one and the number are factors. Two goes into a hundred fifty times. Three will not go into one hundred. Four will. 4 goes into 125 times, 5 goes into 120 times, 6 will not go into 100 without a remainder, and then also notice the divisibility rule for 6. Since this number was not divisible by 2 and 3, then it's definitely not divisible by 6. So 6 won't work, 7 if you tried it won't work, 8 won't work, 9 won't work, the only other thing that works is 10 times 10. So it's a good thing to note here, you don't want to list down the factor twice, even though it does show up twice. Um, don't want to do that. So let's write our answer. The factors of 100 from smallest to biggest will be 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25, and then we want to include the 50 and 100. So these are factors of 100. Now, a multiple. Don't get these confused. A factor of a number, a factor of 18. Notice that all these numbers that are factors are either the number 18 itself or numbers that are smaller because all of these numbers will go into 18. Same thing for 120. All our factors of 120 are less than or equal to 120. Because our biggest factor of 120 is the number itself, all these other numbers are smaller. That's because 120 is divisible by all of these numbers. Same thing for 100. But now a multiple, a multiple means multiply. So if we want to find the first five multiples of 4, just do your multiplication tables. We want the first 4. Well, 4 is a multiple of 4. Then we have 8, 12, 16, 20. All you're doing is multiplying. These are not factors of 4. These are multiples of 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. That's what we're doing for all of these examples. So the first 5 multiples of 50 will be 50, 100, 150, 200. Then we have 250. Those are the first five multiples of 50. These numbers here are not factors of 50. For example, 250 will not go into 50. However, 50 will go into 250. So make sure you don't get that multiple and that factor mixed up. And then our last one, the first five multiples of 12, just a good time to practice your times tables. 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. Those are your first five multiples of 12. These are not factors of 12. So again, just to emphasize the difference between a factor, which we did here, and a multiple down here. But that's it. Hope it helped.